Hey y'all, it's Jayla, AKA Jay Chanelli on the internet. Welcome back slash to my channel. If this is your first time here, we're gonna go ahead and get ready with me through my maintenance vlog. So I thought I'd take you through the process of me getting my nails done and just getting myself together. So if you're ready to see that video, go ahead and keep on watching. So I'm actually hopping into the car and getting ready to go to my nail appointment. This is what my nails are currently looking like. I already have my design picked out and everything. So I'm gonna go to this place that I went to the last time. And then we're probably also gonna stop at the store and. And just get some other DIY materials like my shaving materials and stuff like that okay y'all so I'm at the nail salon I may ask her to record a little bit I don't want to be too awkward because again this is only my second time here so it's not like I know her very well but I'm gonna try to fill out the vibes last look at my crusty dusty nails <laughs> see is is the camera doing them justice i'm not sure if it is but i basically got a french v-tip with orange and red and just a little extra line on the ring finger they're so cute i like my nails okay i like how they came out she always does a good job well the two times that she's done my nails she's done a very good job okay i'm about to run into sally's and remember that we are looking for lash extension things and Sally's. I'm probably gonna have to stop by Walgreens to get the nair situation and we already have everything that we need at the house to do a sugar wax. Anyways, let's just go on to Sally's and see if they have this lash stuff. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm pretty good. Hi. Alrighty. Okay. Sorry, we're closing so it's like... Got you. And it's cash only? Yeah. So. Mm. Okay. Oh, I wasn't aware that this location was closing. Yeah, August 15th. Got you. Okay, y'all. So hopefully you can hear me. I'm from Florida, so I can't turn this AC off. I'm so sorry about it. Just got out of Sally's. And surprisingly, they had everything that I need. So apparently this location is closing, which is sad for me, but also good for me because they had a sale on the exact things that I needed. So they had a sale. It was buy two, get one free on Ardell lash products. So I went ahead and picked up this starter kit lash extension and it comes with the actual like lash glue and the lash remover. From the videos and tutorials that I watched, they said that the trios are actually where it's at because it just takes a lot less time to apply the trios so i got the trios in medium and then i got one more for my free product and these are the 3d individuals in medium i am going to make a stop at walgreens only because i still need to get the nair so i'm trying this product because of christina she featured it in her vlog and luckily i got the last one okay we got the goods so this is it right here, the bladeless shave with cream. It says infused with lavender oil, so it's not supposed to stink, and that's really what I care about, okay? I will check back in with y'all when I get to the house and I figure out what I'm gonna do today. All right, y'all, we are back. Um, we have Brighton. More importantly, I need to get this hair off of my body. All right, y'all, let's remove some hair. I went ahead and changed my clothes. I have on a little tube top and some shouts so that I can reach all the hair that I need to remove, okay? We attempted to make some DIY sugar wax. We got it in a little bowl. It's completely melted. Let me see if I can fix this, okay? We're, we're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it. If we don't fix it, that's Bobby Bottonair. 
Hi friends, so I've concluded that the way that I fix my sugar wax is just to make it all over again. So that's what we're gonna do and I'll actually show you what I'm doing this time, okay? So in order to make this sugar wax, we're just going to use one cup of sugar. We're going to use two tablespoons of water and one tablespoon of lemon juice. That's it, I'm gonna put it into this saucer. We're gonna turn it on like medium heat and then we're just gonna let it cook until it gets a golden brown color. All right, y'all, so my little mixture is bubbling, which means I need to turn down the heat a little bit. So I'm literally gonna take this and I'm going to pour it into a small ceramic bowl that I had sitting in the ice bath. Okay, y'all, so we are back. We got some sugar wax right here. What you do to me, between me and you. So some other materials that I have for this whole process is some baby powder, because I believe you're supposed to put this on your skin to like soak up any extra moisture or whatever. I also have some witch hazel just to make sure that our skin is cleansed prior to. Got some cotton rounds just to use this with. I also have these wax strips, which thankfully come with post wax cloths because I forgot to get like aloe or something like that. I think I'm going to try my leg first only because I feel like my pain tolerance will be a lot better on my leg than it will be just going like straight underneath my armpit. I'm gonna go in first with some witch hazel and kind of clean the area. And then I'm gonna go in with the baby powder. Wax strip. I just realized that these are actual wax strips. Like these already have wax on them. I didn't think of that. I didn't think of that. I didn't think of it. Clearly it's my first time trying sugar wax, but if you tried it, please let me know in the comment section below. Give me some tips and tricks on how to do this y'all because <laughs> I'm not sure it was worth it for right now, but let me know what y'all think. So that worked and that wasn't bad. feel like doing all that y'all it feels like it'll take a really really long time i'm not trying to be in this bathroom all day i picked this up again because of christina i watch her vlogs and she likes this one because it doesn't stink so i'm gonna go ahead and use it under my armpits it still smells like mirror it's just not as thick while my nair is baking I could just use the wax strips that I bought accidentally and actually wax my legs. That hurt it. I'll be nearing the rest of my hair. Welcome back, y'all. I decided today that I'm gonna go ahead and attempt my DIY lash extensions. So let me show you what my natural lashes look like. So they don't look bad, but they are pretty straight in the sense that they don't curl or flare up. So a lot of times when I look at things straight on, it doesn't look like I even have lashes. <laughs> Alrighty y'all, so this was my very first time attempting DIY lash extensions and I definitely need some practice before I get the hang of it. So don't expect a tutorial from me anytime soon, but one day I will be able to give y'all a tutorial, okay? So right now I'm just taking the lash trio, dipping it in the glue and then applying it under my lash line to get like a seamless application. All right y'all, 50 million hours later, we have lopsided lashes. <laughs> it took forever. You can probably see all the glue build up because I used so much glue. Y'all, that glue was a headache. That was probably the hardest part. Um, I tried to follow the instructions and put some on the aluminum foil, but that was drying out way too quickly for like me to be able to use. So I ended up dipping directly into the bottle, which I know is not good, but I had to do that and that became a hassle. But I did them underneath my lashes so that when you look on top of my lashes, hopefully it doesn't look a mess. But yeah, so this is my first time DIYing my lash extensions. Let me know how you think I did in the comment section below. And yeah.
I most definitely welcome any feedback you have for me in the comment section below. Remember to hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.